So, on my previous story, you would have just seen a client win. Now, to you, it might have just looked like a bunch of numbers on the screen. What does it even mean and why should I care? So, I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna go through each and every little aspect of the blood result to explain uh, what it all means, uh, how it works, and why it's such a great win for this person. And uh, maybe it might just ring some bells for you. So, on the next story, we're gonna break it down and I'm gonna show you exactly how it all works. So let's kick things off with omega-3 and omega-6 balance. What are this? What is omega-3? What is omega-6? These are essential fatty acids. They are fatty acids that our bodies cannot produce and we have to get them from our diet. Now omega-6 is like the accelerator and omega-3 is like the brake. So when you sprain your ankle or you uh, get a cut, omega-6 is what starts the healing process. That's why you get a bit of swelling. That's why you get pus going to the area. That's why you get a bit of redness. That is omega-6 at work starting the healing process. Now, omega-3 is the one that stops that infl inflammation process when it doesn't need to be there. But when we have too much omega-6, that inflammation starts to rise and starts to happen when it doesn't need to be there. Any moms out there have experienced this, the kid's going, mom, 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 and you're like, what? Uh, can I have five min minutes extra on the TV? You're like, really, that's what you were bugging me for? And that's what happens when we've got too much omega-6 and not enough omega-3. So as you can see below, uh, with the first test, we had 17 to one. That means you've basically got 17 people playing against one on the tennis court. Not a very fair match. And when the omega-6 starts to rise and inflammation starts to happen where it doesn't need to be, it starts manifesting in different ways. Food intolerances, um, bloating, low energy, migraines, headaches, depression, ADHD. Of course, there's other extenuating factors. But when your inflammation is high, the inflammation, silent inflammation in your body is high. You start getting more um, susceptible to these conditions. And as we get older, we get more susceptible to things like heart disease, Alzheimer's, because of that degeneration. And when there's inflammation, it accelerates that process. So what we wanna do is we wanna slow down the inflammation and bring it back into balance. And that's what the omega-3s do. So as you can see with the second test, 4.8 to 1. So that is why you can see this is a huge win. Next up, we have protection value. Now, protection value refers to your body's ability to protect you from viruses, diseases, and chronic inflammation. It also refers to your body's ability to recover from workouts, for instance. When you work out, you're tearing muscles, and that's why you get tohtalaham. So if you have high inflammation and low protection values, you're gonna struggle and take longer to recover from your workouts. Joint pain, uh, always getting sick, flu, food intolerances, all of these things are coming from your protection value being low, from the inflammation being high. And we can see from this test result that you can significantly increase your protection value by increasing your omega-3 intake. As you can see here, we have 0%. And as you would guess, that is not a good place to be. But once we start increasing the omega-3, we now see 63%. So you can see why that is a client win. Right, next up we have omega-3 index. Now omega-3 index is extremely important. It's referring to how much omega-3 you have in your body. Now, if you have 0%, uh, you no longer cease to live. So we have to have omega-3s in our body. And as I mentioned before, omega-3 is an essential fatty acid, which means that we do not produce it in our body. We have to get it from our diet. Now, if your omega-3 index is below 4%, we become susceptible to things like heart disease because of hardening of our vessels and arteries, Alzheimer's, um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and a whole host of other silent inflammatory conditions because remember I said those omega-3s are the firefighters. They are the ones putting out the fires in our body. Now, if we don't have enough, those fires are gonna spread and the inflammation is gonna start wreaking havoc. It's like driving your car with no oil. It's gonna seize, it's not a great thing. As you can see here, from 4.4 to seven, great win. Right, here's an interesting one. Down below, we have mental strength. So this can range from walking into a room and forgetting why you went in there, forgetting your keys, to being at risk of Alzheimer's, dementia, later on in life. So this is referring to your, your brain's uh, functionality. Now your brain is the fattiest organ in your body and it needs EPA and DHA, which are both omega-3 essential fatty 
acids. If our brain does not have it, we get brain fog, we get uh, a whole host, depression, ADHD, all of these things, obviously there's extenuating factors there, but all of these conditions are made worse or you are made susceptible to if your omega-3 levels are low. So you can see how important omega-3 uh, omega threes are in your mental function, especially I'm going to mention kids and I'm going to mention pregnant and nursing moms. Postnatal depression and brain fog are real things. So if your omega-3 levels are low, you are drastically increasing the effects of postnatal depression and brain fog because your baby is taking the nutrients it needs from you. So if you have a nutrient deficiency, uh, it's going to be taking the omega-3 it needs from your brain. So no wonder so many moms are running around on empty. I, I speak to so many moms and they're just struggling to keep up. But it doesn't have to be that way. If we make sure that you have sufficient amounts of omega-3 in your body, your, you will have enough, your baby will have enough, and you'll know that your baby's gonna be growing up to be strong, healthy, and, and functioning the way it should. And you can function the way you should, full of energy and able to give everything you've got to the world. So that is mental strength. As you can see here, big improvement. We've got 2.5 to 1.6. Ideally, you have a one-to-one. -one. So increasing your omega-3 will drastically improve your mental strength. Now this next one is my personal favorite, cell membrane fluidity. So this refers to how well your cells are absorbing nutrients and getting rid of toxins and how well your cells are communicating with the hormones in your body. Now, if you have a healthy cell, it should look like a mozzarella ball, right? Uh, nice and squishy, fluid, good stuff can get in, the nutrients and the toxins can get out. But if your cells are imbalanced, they're gonna start looking like a golf ball. The nutrients can't get in, the toxins can't get out, and the health of your cell is going to decrease. So as you can see here, the first test, 9.5, that means that this person was only absorbing 40% of the nutrients they were having. So you might be taking supplements, you might be taking all sorts of, especially if you, you know, as we get older, we take, you know, bone supplements and all these different things. If you go into the gym, you take magnesium and all these, and you see all these, you know, different supplements out there. But if your cells are not absorbing, it's for nothing. It's useless. So... The cell membrane fluidity is extremely important. Not only is this gonna show us um, how well or how much nutrients your cells are actually absorbing, it's also gonna show us how good the relationship is between your cells and between the hormones. The hormones and cells are constantly communicating to do so many different things. Insulin, it's a hormone, allowing sugar to get from your bloodstream into your cells. Um, or estrogen, testosterone, all these different hormones are communicating with the cells. Now, if your cells are not looking healthy. They are not communicating very effectively with your hormones. This is why a recent statistic came out that 50% of Maltese women have PCOS. That is a staggering statistic. And very strongly, one of the reasons for that is that there's a problem with cell absorption. We can see it in Malta hugely because we are one of the sunniest nations in the world, yet, we have a vitamin D deficiency. That is not a shortage of vitamin D, it's an absorption problem. And as you can see below, so the first test was 9.5, the second test was five to one. This means that this person went from absorbing only 40% of what they were eating to roughly about 80% of what they were eating. The nutrients are now coming in. The communication with the hormones is improving. So you can see a drastic improvement just by increasing the omega-3 in your diet. So it is super, super important on so many different levels. And this is really gonna start increasing when you start absorbing more nutrients. You're gonna start having more energy. You're gonna start having less cravings. You're gonna start feeling less bloated. You're gonna start getting less food intolerances. All of this is gonna start happening when your cells start to function properly. So as you can see, this is a huge client win. Last but not least, we have arachidonic acid. Don't ask me why I saved the longest, hardest word for last, but uh, um, here it is. Basically, it's just referring to the omega-6s involved in uh, the healing process when we need it. So when we get sick and we get a fever, or we get a cut and we get goes red and it starts getting a bit pussy, or we sprain our ankle and there's a bit of swelling, that is omega-6 in action starting the healing process. So we need to have some omega-6 but we don't want to have too much because then we start having fires going off all over our body. So we can see a good range 
And this is obviously very directly affected by the foods that we're eating. If we're eating a lot more omega-6s, we're gonna see a lot more arachidonic acid in the body. And we obviously wanna try and reduce the amount of omega-6s that we're having in our diet and balance it out and increase our omega-3s. So I hope that was helpful going through that test result and showing you exactly um, what's being tested and, and being able to see what's going on inside your body. Um, but if any of those things that I mentioned rang a bell to you and you thought, hmm, I'm struggling with food intolerances or I always have headaches or uh, you know, I'm always struggling with low energy. If any of those alarm bells went off and you wanna ask me any questions about it, you wanna get in touch, let me know, send me a message. I'll be happy to chat to you about it. And um, all of this information was derived from a very simple test at home, quick uh, prick on the finger, put your blood on a sample, you send it off to the most reputable laboratory when it comes to dry blood spot testing for fatty acid profiles in the world. Uh, it's based in Norway, it's called Vitas Lab. Um, they represent the Olympic Committee, Oxford University, Cambridge. So a very reputable lab, very reputable results. Um, so if you've got any questions, please send me a message and let's chat.